Okay, so for my next forging project, I want to uh, do something that wouldn't take me two years to complete. So I've got this piece of a uh, car coil spring uh, that I've just found on the side of the road. Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, cut a piece off of this and uh, see if it makes a good knife. Now coil springs, um, you know, are obviously made of spring steel, so it should be uh, a good steel for a knife. It should be tough, but uh, they don't always hold an edge since it is a unknown steel source. I'm really not sure what I'll be getting, so it's not necessarily recommended to use a, uh, a coil spring for your knives. Um, but since this was free, I'm going to give it a go and see if I can make something cool out of this. Uh, and if it does work out, I'll be able to get quite a few knives from it. So step one, I'm just going to take my hacksaw here. So obviously that didn't work, so I ended up hot cutting the uh, piece off of the coil spring. And once I had that off of there, I straightened it out on my anvil. And then I had this piece of round uh, scrap steel lying around. Don't ask me where it came from. I just found it in the side of the road. Uh, but I used that as my anvil. Um, and because of the shape of it, it acted as a rolling pin. So I was able to draw out the width of the blade more so than the length as I was hammering it out and forging the blade the shape. As you can see, I was able to draw out the width of that coil spring piece quite a bit. I decided to make a Bowie pattern blade. So the first thing I did was shape it in a rough uh, Warncliffe shape. And then when I started hammering on the side that the edge was going to be, not only did it create the edge bevel, but it also cause the blade to curve and sweep ever so slightly upwards into that distinct bowie pattern. I used the edge of the anvil to make the tang and then once that was done I started working at it with my mill bastard file to uh, put in the edge bevels so the blade ended up being a little too hard to file so what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to try to anneal it to soften the steel and make it a little bit easier to work with. 